The next thing is bacteria growth. And the operations class this year got to experience that. This jar right here is an example of diesel fuel and algae. And so this is out of our John Deere fairway mower out here. And it would drive along all of a sudden it would die. And we pulled the tank, and this is what we drained out of it. So if you don't shake it, but pass that around and look at it. What you see at the bottom that's in the dark area is actually water. Bacteria, fuel algae, lives in the water and feeds off the fuel. So the more it eats the fuel, the more it creates on the bottom. And it is like a jelly. If you actually pour it out in your hand, it's almost like petroleum jelly and um, jello, clear jello. So it's kind of a combination of the two. The byproducts that it leaves behind once it's been there a while is the green stuff that you see down there. And on our, on our fairway mower, what happened was that green stuff collected on the screen, the inlet screen in the fuel tank, and just plugged the filter. We took the filter out, cleaned it all up, Wash the tank out, put it back in, it plugged it up a second time. So it's pretty nasty once you get it. It's really hard to get rid of. There are some treatments out there you can buy that are very expensive that you add a little bit. You add like a half of an ounce to 100 gallons, and it will kill it off. But you have to kind of treat it quite a bit, and so it's one of the things you try to avoid. The way to avoid fuel algae is to avoid water. If you don't get water in your tank, then you don't have fuel logic because it has to live in the water. And the last one is just simply ice. But that's a problem that you don't ever want to deal with. It's, the stuff on the bottom is fuel algae. It's, it is water, but the fuel algae lives in the water. There's a filter. There was a filter on the end of the hose in the tank, so we couldn't blow it back because the filter was so plugged up. We had to take it out. We soaked it in carburetor cleaner and ate the stuff out of the filter. It was a metal mesh screen, and we had to eat it out. It was so bad. So, and the last time they finally just left it out because it's easier to change the filter by the by the engine than it is to pull a fuel tank and the you have to pull the tire, the fender, the fuel tank. It's a, an elaborate job, so they just left the filter out, and they're using the other filter to, to clean it out. You need to change both of them on daily, or drain both of them on, on a timely basis. Diesel fuel, they recommend that once a month you drain it. Drain the tank, fuel tank on your machine. If you've got storage containers, the storage should be changed or drained once a month. But most vehicles, like a car, don't give you a tank drain. So it's hard to do, but there's a drain on the filter, on the bottom of the filter, which you should drain. What they've done is, since the normal public is not educated enough, they put water sensors in the filter. And when the water gets so high, the sensor goes off, and the light comes on and says, you have water in your fuel, drain your filter. Now, if you have a good storage system that doesn't have water in it, buy from a good dealer, you're not going to see too many problems. On this side of the state, we don't have a lot of humidity, and so we don't tend to see a lot of water problems unless it's from the guy steam cleaning, a crack in the fuel cap, or something like that. If you live on the other side of the state, the other side of the mountains, where they give a lot of rain, you'll see a lot more problems, especially in the winter, with water. And in that case, that's where this one month is really kind of directed to. One month would be on the I-5 corridor, basically from June back, I guess, down through September. In the summer, it's pretty dry over there. Gasoline, because gasoline and water kind of pass through, it's more like every six months is what they recommend. But it will pass through. You can burn water and gas. That's one of the emissions thing, you put drips of water in your system, and it will actually burn pretty easily. So it's not, not as big an issue. <clears throat> Don't go up yet. 
On your piece of paper, there's a circle. 